Hello, people views, I think it's a views. I think we are doing the last episode of Pokemon Generations, episode 16 to 18, and these are based on the FY games. But before I get to that, I'm going to say I really hope that they do three more episodes based on some new games. I think it just wouldn't be good to see that. Because they have some different stuff like how many things I right now, but they're probably just going in the future, but that's what I see. And hopefully they would they reconsider, or just consider, uh, doing a Pokemon uh, Origins 2 based on that uh, gold, silver, crystal, or hack also silver, you know, Hopefully we do that someday as well. Anyway, episode 16 of the one generation is called The Beauty Immortal. This is just uh, focusing around uh, Alexander from the different sides himself. First, uh, showing him uh, the game, showing him present to the Holocaster, the people of Kalos. And then uh, that scene in the cafe in the game where you're talking to the answer and there's a weird thing is coffee not always puts milk or something in it, but it's just a weird thing, it's just like after I think. Then you could over to um uh Malva when she's just talking about uh, the Holocaster she said a lot then stuff that just uh run out quickly I think that the uh, John Ray just didn't donate some money to some hospital or whatever or whatever. And then when he goes into his car report asks about project why but he's already really talking about it. Then cuts to his uh uh industry and his board meeting with some of the people there and he does act like a total businessman to try to save project. Say like he does do it because he says so. You can already say that, but that's basically what it is. Saying this way, I guess, information about the, the cocoon of that cocoon of destruction or as we call and say he has got the views against the town and the, the King Square music play where he's uh, going there in the helicopter. Yeah, that's great. I love very the music from games and I just love that they put in the uh New York City music when that model so no model uh model that sold up. It's just great. And it ends with him finding uh E Cole and saying that he's on a very beautiful world. And this is overall a good episode so uh, the John Gray where he is. Um, there's all the different sides in him, the light and dark. I think he might call it a different voice actor for, for Sandre. I don't really sound like the same guy that yeah, played him in the English dub on top of X, Y, and Z. I don't really know. Anyway, good, it's, uh, 5 out of 5. Uh, episode 17 is the investigation. Uh, another episode with, uh, the looker, where he's, uh, trying to find this, uh, mechanical Minor thing that's taken to the Pokemon. And uh, basically, based on the after game uh, thing where you, where you can uh, just, uh, help Hooker uh, find the mechanical uh, planer. Um, you just saw the flashback to him and his uh, new assistant who was, a, uh, who was an orphan. I forget the name, but. I remember him with A. I don't really get why they did this. Like, he came to because it's on how he came uh, the the mechanical trainer thing of the set. How he uh, volunteered to be the episode depth of it. Yeah, quarters. And we had to play the game, but. Yeah. Is it okay? That made him. It's good, um, the music is great as always. Everything was 
community. So this is a four out of ten. And the last episode, number eighteen, is called the uh, the Redemption. And this is set set uh, after the uh, the, uh, the playable character that you control wins up on the egg and you whole staring on again. AG turns up and battles you. But there's some different with his mother and her child. Curry Cow is a boy or girl and the kid that says that the AG is man from the story and the kid has a last pack or member member when her when uh, the mother tell, tells him or her the story. I don't really know. And I just love that they put the music from this moment in, in this. It's just practically beautiful. And the animation is just gorgeous. I don't know why, but it just is. And then it just, at the end of the day, I put that the AV losing. And then, then it, it's, it's both on the Turns up. But one problem I had is, as usual, who was talking? Why? What does this said sound that bloody uh, battle theory years ago with the mother said uh, talking? And at the end, when the kid said, Look, mommy, you guys come on back and says, then you look so happy and split like that and the mother was saying, like, These are those or something like that. It didn't need to be sad, sad, it didn't need to be sad. Again, so don't tell. What the hell, man? I don't, I don't know what's wrong with people. Ugh. This was so long you just have to keep quiet. Ugh. Anyway, you know with that problem, I give this a 4.5 out of 10. Music, great animation, just awesome. And just good seeing the, the battle in animation form rather than in a 3D graphics. You actually get to see, see what really happens. And they get more emotion out of the animation than the graphic, especially when the AD is looking super sad and the uh, Pokemon is totally dead. And with the Pokemon looking sad, seeing the other destruction the AD caused to bring it back to life. So, we'll just bring it up so with one big problem. Well, for me, I don't know, problem for anybody else. But that would and as I said, this is the last of the Generations episode. Overall, the Generations series was good in other some parts. They just took out the games and did where in shown that still that in other people's perspective while the table character is doing what the table character does. So, overall, it's a good series and I recommend it to any Pokemon fan. That uh, plays games and yeah, that's really good. Until um, next time, I'm Sue. I'll see you guys later.